Gospel of March 14, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your, your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says of his brother Raka will be answerable to the sanitary, and whoever says Jew fool will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are, of course, on the second Friday of Lent, and we are advised to have an abstinence of red meat because we are supposed to work to prepare ourselves in our way towards the Pascha, towards that Christ resurrected after the passion and death of the Lord. And there were three helps, three methods that we were to use throughout these 40 days of Lent. The first one, of course, is prayer. The second one is penance. And the third one is good deeds. Your good deeds, your charitable, out of love. Today, the Lord is recalling ourselves to a central and very basic point. It will be of no use whether you have prayer, penance, and even good deeds, if there is hatred in your heart. So important is the lesson of today that the Lord is first calls her attention, calls her attention, unless your righteousness is greater than the scribes and Pharisees, meaning greater than being hypocritical or just on the surface. It is not enough for us even to have, even to abstain ourselves from food in the morning or throughout the day or to give out everything that we own, unless there is not hatred in our heart. The Lord says, It was told to you first, do not kill. Whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But the Lord, say, the Lord says, I tell you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever says to his brother, Raka, which means a bad word will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, to the Senate, and whoever calls him fool will be liable to fiery Gehenna. That is, that is, um, hell. Gehenna means hell, where there is fire, fiery Gehenna, the eternal fire. The Lord says, if you are going to bring a gift to be presented to the Lord, to God, in the altar, and then while you're going there, you remember that one of your brothers, and that means any son of God, any person in the world, has something against you, go back and reconcile first, rather than bringing your gift to the altar. Is that important? We cannot get close to the altar of the Lord, unless we are reconciled. The Lord is very clear. Get ready, reconcile with your opponent while on the way, which meaning while we are living in this world. Otherwise, he might hand you over to the judge and you might end up in prison. And the Lord says, I tell you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. So it is very important, and we have been taught so, on the prayer of the Lord. 
forgive our trespasses as we have, as we have forgiven those who, has, who have trespassed against us. If we do not forgive the others, we will not receive the, we will not receive the Lord's for forgiveness of our own trespasses. So it is paramount, brothers, that this Lent prepares you and me to get ready with a clean heart, with a clean conscience, where there is no hatred, but only love for everyone. Besides, forgiveness is very important and necessary for your life today. I remind you that what I have said before, if while you are examining yourself, you find that you have someone who offended you, who injured you so much, that you find it so hard to forgive. Do this exercise with me. Say the name of that person and then say, I forgive you in the name of our Lord Jesus. I forgive you with the forgiveness of the Lord Jesus. And I ask our Lord that he might make it a reality in my heart. God bless you all, brothers.